All right, we're back. Let's see if we can continue. Where we off, left off here is we got two games coming up. You gotta win one. We win one, we go bowling. We don't, well, we, we don't. <laughs> very, very, very simple. Very, very simple. That said, let's see what we do. Let's just jump right in. See if we can get this though. Before we do so though, let's look at the top 25. We've got Bama. Can they remain undefeated in SEC action? They lose Bama. Let's be honest. Um, anyone watching this video you probably feel the same way that I do right now so let's, let's, let's acknowledge how we feel <laughs> I cannot feel any better about that now, let's be honest who, who does they score late to a buck 30 they were winning McGraw with the late run to put them up. And then the touchdown pass. I'm going to take it. GG's. Air Force 11. Air Force going to crack the top 10? They get a dub. Any other big matchups? 9 versus 13. SEC East battle. Mizzou and Georgia. Georgia with the win. Looking at it, Georgia with the touchdown late. Mizzou ties it. Farnsworth believes he's having a good season for them as well. Actually, let's take a look. I thought I saw him up there for a couple of things. Six touchdowns. Eh, I stand corrected, but not bad. Mizzou hurtful loss they will drop out the top 10 actually I said Air Force goes in Georgia may go in over them Notre Dame and Michigan so we already have Bama losing Memphis trying to sneak its way into the top four Michigan lost well Ooh. Michigan wins they come from behind late touchdown pass from Rob Man, that's a that's a close one. And it's Cincinnati and Navy. Cincinnati, they gonna stay up there? Yep. Navy, that's a big one for them. And hell since we're looking at it, let's go ahead and sim Oregon's game. Wow, Oregon gets blown out. Cincinnati. They may be the biggest benefiters from this. This can put them in the conversation for top four. That's crazy. That is crazy. They just got the doors blown off. No touchdown passes from Manzo and Clements. Three. A buck 32 from Reyes on the ground. 81 from Applegate. They just dominated this game. Virginia Tech might as well just to see. I assume they'd be Hawaii. Yep. All right. Well, we have a big matchup. If we win, we go bowling. Now, let's see if we get the job done. And it'll have to wait a week. And we got dominated. That's not a good look, shall we? Well, the first quarter was pretty much, the first half was bad. The first quarter was bad in and of itself. 24 nothing, we're down 31 nothing. We never gave ourselves a chance in this game. Four interceptions by Gardner, worst time. Worst time to come up with a game like that. You can't have that. Oh, that's depressing. One of them was a pick six. 
Yep, that's how the half ends. We're down 24 nothing, And then you get picked off and it gets run back that far. That lets you know that's just bad. Just bad, just bad, just bad. Well, and 200 yards on the ground doesn't make things any better. We could not run the football. So, ouch. The amount of first downs, third down efficiency, vastly different. We had the pass for the obvious reasons, but we turned it over five times, a fumble and four interceptions. That will always cost you a game. Well, that's a, that's a painful one. Not gonna lie, it's a pretty good time to have a have a bye week. If we look at the top 25, you got Cincinnati and Florida Atlantic. Cincinnati wins. Georgia. They win convincingly. Any other major matchups? Some good ones, but nothing major. I'll look at this one, see if SDSU can pull the upset. Nope. Down 42 to 10. Put a hell of a fourth quarter together, but just too far back. Alright, well, let's just sim ahead. Alright, pretty much our season is, uh. Season is on the line for what we're gonna get done, if we get anything done here. I don't know what happened to the emails. We suddenly went from having a couple to a bunch. So fullback tackle intelligence went up. We got a guard. Yeah, the couple go. A couple players go elsewhere. Um. Let's see what we do. Uh oh, the athletic board struggling and talking to your fans and disappointing boosters from demanding your resignation. We should be performing way better. First of all, seem as I went bowling for a couple years, so let's, let's not put this on me. They are. Yes, we got a four star defensive tackle. And it concerns me because guess what? At the end of the day, At the end of the day, I am a Nebraska fan. No one wants to. No one wants to leave. So, a win here would uh, go a long way. We'll just say that. We will just say that. That said, let's take a look at some things. Let's look at recruits. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Who is not recruited from what we've looked at? And from what I can see, most have gone somewhere. There should be one that we're still going after. And we'll offer this guy, why not? Alright, that said. <sighs> what else do we have? Who's still left? Who they recommend? Let's start with that. I don't want to see all. I wanted uncommitted. Well, 
he's not coming to us, all the major schools. Uh, let's go all. So a few out there. We're actually gonna go to recommended and see if we can see if we can squeeze someone. That one great. Let's see if we can grab another linebacker. Yeah, I can live with this guy. And then see if we can get a, a three-star corner just for some depth. All right, cool. They'll be at the bottom. Assign points, 10, 10, schedule interviews, schedule offer, offer, 20, 20. Oh, well, this is a big game. We got to win this game. Bottom line. Other big games in week 13. Memphis staying undefeated. They do. Baylor. Two losses in their five. It's crazy, isn't it? Air Force in the top 10. They remain. Virginia Tech, number three, they remain. And pretty much our season. We have done it. Yowie wowie. We have done it. We are bowl eligible. This is a really, 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 really good feeling. Williams gets an A+. Plus. Carrasco, an A+. Plus. If you have two running backs with that high of a grade, that's probably a good sign. All right. Training, some intelligence. We'll see what happens with those two kids if we can grab one. Actually, we got Duncan. That works. Won't complain about that. So we just walk in and get a corner. Um, the kicker went elsewhere. Don't care. But let's look into this game and see what happened specifically. We won 52 to 45, man. And we had to come from behind. It's a back and forth game. Down seven nothing touchdown pass, even with the touchdown run, big play. Match it where we get a field goal, they get a touchdown, we get a touchdown, and we get a field goal before the half. And we run off ten points, and then a touchdown, but we felt the two point conversion, so we take the lead. Then we give up a touchdown, a field goal, and a touchdown. We have our first special teams touchdown of the season, a kick return. And then we give up a big run. This was probably was a really fun game to watch for either fan base. Field goal to cut it to one. A touchdown and two point conversion converted to go up seven. They score with 216 to tie it. Defense gave it up quick. And then we get a 50 yard touchdown run with 33 seconds left. That is crazy. Only one touchdown by our quarterback. 155 yards combined by our running backs. 255, sorry. Three touchdowns. Huge. Huh. Well, Roach had 167 by himself. But, I mean, I'll take I get two receivers over 100 yards. No missed kicks. That kick return, the first. And like I said, it came at the perfect time. You can't ask for more than that. Can't ask for more than that. In terms of team stats, a good game in terms of third downs. Defensively as well, 33%. And no turnovers. 
few penalties for us. Bottom line, we get the job done. They had the offensive and defensive player of the game, but we take the dub. So we are bowl eligible. Six and six. Looking at the top ten. Poor Baylor. They win and they drop out. Hate to see it. So there's your top four right now. I got Bama, Michigan, Virginia Tech, Baylor, Memphis, Cincinnati, and so forth. But we still have another week to go. In terms of top 10, Memphis getting a win against Boise State would be a huge help. They do. Closer, you'd like a blowout in that situation, but you know, for style points, but you take what you can get. I mean, they were up 35-17, but they held on. They actually are up 28 nothing. And, man, Boise State made a hell of an effort to get back in the game. Memphis could have used keeping their foot on the gas. Notre Dame, top 10. USC, I know all about that matchup. Living out here. Is what it is. Nothing changes. We send and go to next week. Championship week. Getting closer. A week away. So, how do those top teams fare? Bama. Auburn. Bama loses. Please be done. <laughs> Looking at coming into this week, Memphis is number two. Cincinnati sitting at seven. A close loss. Bama losing to Auburn. Why am I not surprised? And they're up 24-10. They ran off the last, their next 17 points. Good. Bama should be done. Michigan, Ohio State, the game. Michigan wins. In terms of big matchups, that's about it. Big 10 in our um, offense here. Wisconsin, easy dub. Let's them a week ahead. So coming in to this week, championship games, huge. Memphis has to win this game, so this is perfect. Cincinnati being eight, it gives them an oppor- it gives Memphis an opportunity to have a a um, opportunity here. So it's going to send the whole week, and we're going to go back and look. Okay. Championship week. San Diego State, your Mountain West champions in what looks like triple overtime, getting the dub. Alabama, SEC East champs. I'm sorry, SEC um, champs. So even though they were number one and they lost, they still stay at number one. Because you know, Baylor throttled Oki State, which is why they moved up to three. The ratings have changed. You got Virginia Tech blowing out Louisville. Wisconsin blowing out Michigan. So here is where we're going to have some pushback. This would be a real life problem. In chat. Memphis was, top t- was number two. They got destroyed. Cincinnati put up 56 points in the first half. This is a 14-14 game. And they ran off 42 unanswered. 42 unanswered. To close the half and then added 14 in the second half. They just beat the brakes off of Memphis. Emphatically ending their chances for a, a hope for a championship so here's the problem Cincinnati just dominated the number two team in the country Michigan lost and you can look at the same way with them they seemingly were dominated by Wisconsin
There is your rating, though. Michigan finishes four. Cincinnati finishes five. You hate to see that. That's... Not gonna lie. It kind of hurts if you look at the top 25 here. You look at the rating. It's not even. It's not even close either. 378 to 300. Man, that's tough. That is so tough. As for us, though, really unfortunate. So you're gonna have for the playoffs. You've got Virginia Tech against Baylor, Michigan against Bama. Other bowl games, Wisconsin, Stanford, and the Rose Bowl. Sugar Bowl is Georgia against Okie State. Good matchup there. This also is, even though I hate to admit it, an Orange Bowl. We're going to get Cincinnati. So Cincinnati gets that for their matchup. Hmm. Memphis drops to 10. The Gasparilla Bowl against Utah State. Or Utah San Antonio. Man, that's, man, that's a huge drop off. That has to hurt. Cal against Air Force. LSU, Iowa, you know I'm looking for our boys. San Diego State in the Potato Bowl against Eastern Michigan. There we are. We face Oregon State. Home of our former coach, Mr. Riley. Not bad, not bad. And then again, just to emphasize, so we're gonna send, let me take a look. All right, let's back up for a sec. Got the email here if I would have looked. The team don't underestimate them. I mean, I'm just happy that we're in a bowl game, to be honest. Quarterback got an A. Receiver an A. See our prestige. Actually went up. Though we may have lost or finished season rank 63, at least for now. I, I, I don't imagine it'll change. But we lost. So let's take a look and see how that game turned out. So. Doesn't show it on the schedule. We'll have to go back to play. And bowls, but we'll look at the semis in just a sec. Let's check out Nebraska. Let's see what happened around. Stanford wins the Rose Bowl. Georgia in a close game wins the Sugar Bowl. Louisville loses to Notre Dame. Good. Cincinnati dominates Oregon. So they finished 13 and 1. Sad that they didn't get the chance to play. The final four, Memphis blows out UTSA. Unfortunate for them. Air Force, 57. Very impressive. LSU in overtime against Iowa, so close game. Miami with a bowl win. Miami finished 9 4. That's not bad. Very quiet 9 4. Speaking of, Florida as well. So we lost 54 to 14, yeah, we pretty much got dominated. I mean, it could have been worse. I don't know how, we're down 37 nothing at the half. And then they even scored more. Yeah, it was a rough game. Gardner, 199, couldn't run the football. Oof. The struggles, it's okay though, but we made a bowl game and to be quite honest, that's a huge accomplishment with this with this team. So let's look at the semis. We have Virginia Tech against Bama. So let's look and break each game down. Virginia Tech dominates Baylor. Just dominate. 28 points in the first half, and then a touchdown late in the third to go up 35 to three. Just nothing that Baylor really could do on this game. Offense didn't seem to be going anywhere. 17 to 28, 161 in interception. There's a 16 23, 154 in a touchdown. Not hugely different. 
but the pick versus the touchdown. The difference is Virginia Tech can run the ball. 145 from Shepard. Perron with 84. Gonzalez 18 for 59 for a guy that has a rush for 100 a game. That's a huge difference. Just really couldn't get anything going. Missed a, a long kick. That's going to happen. Just they couldn't get anything going. So they catch the L. Meanwhile, on the other side, Bama wins 24 17. See, Michigan put together two touchdowns in the fourth. Little too late. Bama. Two touchdowns in the second quarter to go into the half up 14 0. 10 points in the third to go up 24. And yeah, the late touchdown there just to clean it up. But I assume either they didn't get the onside kick or if they didn't, obviously they didn't score. So rough. No turnovers in this game. Penalties were pretty non existent. The key thing is here at third down. Michigan's one for 12, six for 15 for Bama. Probably your game right there. Also, neither team really great at running the football, but 2.4 really isn't going to do anything for you. So, rough. This is, uh, we see Farrell 21 116. I mean, Matos with 20 rushes for 82 isn't terrible. But it doesn't get the dub. Virginia Tech and Bama. Good luck. Go Tech. Wow. Virginia Tech blows out Bama in the championship game. I'm not going to lie. I find it kind of funny. Back and forth game. First quarter. 14-13. A missed extra point. Makes you kind of, kind of smile there. And then Virginia Tech runs off 21 unanswered. Two touchdowns in the second quarter. One, I assume, the opening drive of the third quarter. And they just dominated this game. Starting quarterback, 20 for 23 sheets. 283, five touchdowns, one reception. That Madden life right there, 20 to 23. Versus Fullerton, it was 16 to 31. Farrell did have 132. Good game for him. But you have Shepard and Haran split, you know, getting around 190 yards. That's not bad. He just well played game. A miss kick, two miss kicks by Bama as well. So you miss two field goals and you miss an extra point. Hate to see it, unless you're a, a Bama hater. <laughs> I mean, both didn't do bad on third downs. Obviously, two thirds is better than half. But all in all, the two turnovers apiece. But the missed kicks also kind of factor into that a little bit too. But yeah, Virginia Tech dominates. Those are your national champions. So now we can look at some stuff. Looking at awards. Oh, looking at conference prestige, the ACC gets a 71, AAC 66, Big 12 75, 73 for the Big 10, so we got to work on that. Conference USA is 49, pretty much just Notre Dame, MAC 48, Mountain West 58, Pac 12 72, we obviously know. SEC has 76 on both 44. Oof. Oof. So there you see it there. The things you can look at in the almanac. Good stuff. Um, the recap of the season. You can do some other things there. All in all, though, I can't really complain. Life wasn't too bad. So let's advance for the awards. All right. So the awards we have Spalding, most outstanding player, the running back from Iowa State, 1952 rushing yards, 23 touchdowns. Wow. 
Thomas K. 69 tackles there. Oh, yeah. 10 sacks. This running back is obviously really well liked. So you looking across the board, looking at the quarterbacks, 24-17, most outstanding senior. 38-13. and 13. I'm assuming rushing must have factored in because you kind of look at the numbers and assume Syracuse's would be the guy. I'm not seeing anything for us. Do we deserve it anyway? No. But I'm looking. And so you can see the the rosters of the Senior Bowl. North wins. Not really going to get into that one because I don't believe we have anyone on our team there. At least I don't remember us having anyone on the team. So that's fine. Go ahead and end the season. Obviously, we know what the, the big news coming in is going to be. Well, actually, there's one thing I do want to check before we officially end this season. Where's it at? I want to see all Americans. Media. It's not listed. Nah. I'm in there somewhere. Anyway, let's advance. Send the season. Well, we finish rank 69. Oh, yes. So, a couple of things. We'll get into this as we actually get into um, what we have going on. But our class rank 23, prestige 74, so it did go up class, or rank overall 69, and we finished 67. So Vera is transferring out, and we lose a lot. In terms of our best players, we lose, a, we lose our starting quarterback, starting running back, two of our receivers, a fullback, and our center, and then, you know, some other talented pieces. So we have some work to do. We most definitely have some work to do. Oh, right now, we're going to call it at that. Let's take one final look. before we uh, call it for us. We're going to look into Nebraska's Nebraska's season. Whoops. And we're going to look into our our stats. But then the Big Ten where we sit. I guess I can't because he's off the roster. Oops. I'll have to go into the almanacs to look at that. Oh well. Okay. All right, so new teams that are available that have openings. None of them really good, obviously. I'm not taking any of them. I 
gonna delete all of these because I don't need them now. And we need to deal with the staff. So we know what's there, what we have. We'll take a look at that and we'll get the off season kicked off here in the next episode. We also will probably get an initial game. It really is just getting the getting the roster set and all that good stuff. Our prestige, our rank is gonna drop a little bit since we lost some talent. It's okay. We'll see how things end up looking for us, big picture. I will say though things I would hope would be better. So looking at our schedule, we have Charlotte and Yukon. Those should be wins. Maryland. And then Arizona State and Tennessee. This should be interesting. This should be really, really interesting. I don't know how things will pan out for us, but I hope we don't have to come down to Tennessee and Arizona needing to win one. Um, within the conference, obviously, Minnesota and Wisconsin are going to be tough. We get Ohio State again. Hmm. But at least it's earlier. Wisconsin's later. Um, we'll, we'll see how things go. But that'll do it for now. I appreciate you watching. We'll be back next week and see if we can get this team set up for a good run in Season 2. Thanks for watching.